four attempts before reaching the fourth highest peak in the world. 57-year-old Singaporean adventurer Ku Sui Chiao reached the summit of uh, Lhotse along the border of Tibet and Nepal this month. Our previous attempts were foiled by an accident and even an earthquake. Uh, this is uh, the latest of Ku's many summits that include Mount Everest and K2. And to hear more of his latest adventure, we have Mr. Ku with us. Uh, Mr. Ku, first, congratulations on your latest climb. Uh, four times lucky. Uh, recount for us what were the highlights and perhaps not so highlights of summiting Lhotse. Hi, Jill. Um, well, my first attempt was way back in uh, 2015, and then the earthquake happened. And then 2016, I went back, and I was very near the summit, about 100 meters. But uh, unfortunately, a, a Sherpa fell to his death. Uh, everybody had to turn back. And then last year, I tried again my third attempt. And then, you know, there was COVID, and it was really bad weather. However, this year, I decided to try again, and uh, I think the mountain has kind of uh, said to me, you know, I think you've come here four times, that's enough, I'll, I'll let you up this time. So the weather this time was, was extremely good, and uh, the experts say it's, it's the best weather uh, in 10 years. So there were many days where there was absolutely no wind at all, uh, blue sky, and the uh, the root snow condition was uh, almost perfect. Yeah, so very lucky this time. Well, we we described you as a, a serial climber uh, uh, in the break earlier. Um, <laughs> this, uh, this this fourth time, uh, this summit. Why was this summit so significant to you? I think it's it's just uh, unfinished uh, business for me, and mm. I don't like to you know just leave it uh, unfinished. And also, it has quite a few uh, important uh, facts. Uh, Lhotse is the fourth highest. It's um, you know right next to Everest, and. Uh, you know, you have to go through this section that you're looking at now, which is the Kumbu Ice Fall, which is a very dangerous um, uh, area full of crevasses, as you can see. Mm. Um, so to me, I just want to uh, get over this section. And, uh, you know, I never want to have to go through <laughs> the Kumbu Ice Fall again. And uh, that's one of the motivations. And also because I've climbed... Uh, you know, the five highest peaks, uh, including uh, in the six. So I wanted to kind of uh, have it, you know, one to six. Yeah, so it's kind of a filling in the gap. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, those those re those motivations, many would have given up after, well, not even the third attempt, maybe the first attempt, they would have given up, but you kept going. <laughs> and, and, and one of those things is because you wanted to see the back of Lotse, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And also the view from, uh, if you look at the photos of the, the summit and the video, the, the peak behind, the, the big peak behind is actually Everest. It's, you know, mm. it's the best view that you can get to see Everest. And that is from the Los Angeles summit. Yeah, that one. Mm. Yeah. And we've, you know, you've climbed so many, including K2 and Everest. Uh, was there something different about this climb uh, compared to those other peaks? Uh, Lose has some risk besides the Kumbu Ice Fall. The, the last section from Camp 4 to the summit is actually a very long and narrow uh, couloir, like a, a narrow valley. And, uh, you know, if, if uh, there's an avalanche or, you know, rock fall, there is nowhere to hide, basically. So there is some uh, objective danger there. And uh, I'm glad that this year, uh, there's a lot of uh, firm snow, so the rockfall was uh, was minimum. Yeah. Yeah. You know, now that uh, COVID has eased up a little bit and borders are opening, uh, can you share with us what's next and what your climbing schedule might look like going forward? Yeah, actually, I've just finalised uh, a trip to Pakistan. Uh, what I'm trying to do the next three years is to focus on the 14, uh, 8,000 meters. So now I've done uh, seven. Uh, I've got seven to go, which is still a long way, only halfway. So next month, actually, 8th of June, uh, I'm due to fly to Pakistan and to try uh, Nanga Parbat, which is another very uh, technical of the uh, 8,000 meters. 
Well, we wish you all the best and come back and speak with us after that climb, will you? And uh, thank you so much. Uh, we've been speaking with the Singaporean adventurer and uh, mountain climber, Ku Sui Chow.